Hi, everybody. This is Mrs. Simpson from Monroe Center Grade School. Mr. Mulliken and I have been talking over the past several weeks a lot about everything that we're doing with the remote learning, the in the building learning face to face, the hybrid, everything like that. And we know there's been a lot of communication that's been sent out and will be sent out. So we wanted to also do videos so we could actually uh, just have a different way for everybody to look at things. Sometimes I know when there's a lot of information that's written, it's overwhelming. While at the same time, I know just like our children, we learn differently as well. So we're going to do a little video on how to sign on to a Chromebook. So Tuesday morning, the 18th at 8 a.m., when we start school, we are successful in getting all of our kids signed in to meet their teachers and get the day started. So our tech team, and I'm going to say um, my hat's off to them, they did a fabulous job with the Chromebook distribution and all the volunteers that helped. They also had a set of directions that came with a Chromebook so you knew exactly what to do. I do want to say um, they actually did a phenomenal job stepping everybody through the process. I'm going to go ahead and do it so you see me do it and you can see how long it takes to give you an idea of um, rather than having your student sign in right at 8 a.m., they can be proactive and, you know, quarter till, get signed in, get ready to go, just like they would be packing their backpack. If they're remote on the first day, help them set up a routine so they get into um, the habit of signing in at quarter till each morning. Mrs. Simpson could uh, get some practice in that, so when she gets into her Zoom meetings, she could be a little bit earlier. Everybody that works with her knows she could. So I have um, a student Chromebook right here, and I'm just going to open it up. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go right up here in the upper right-hand corner, and I'm going to push that button, and it's going to start to turn on, as you can see right here. So I'm going to show you what you're going to see on the screen and what to do from there. Takes a second. Okay, so we have our cardinal. Um, the last person that signed into this, it doesn't matter who the last person was. You can go in right here, and you can sign in from there. But I want to caution every single person. We get a lot of phone calls about this. We got a lot of phone calls about this in the spring. Before your student gets super excited about signing in, because they will, those that have done it before will, if you have not gone down here and signed into your Wi-Fi, it's not going to let you sign in. Um, the Chromebooks are used to the Wi-Fi at school, and they've connected there before, and they'll automatically hook up there. But if you're at home, you need to teach the Chromebook to automatically hook up to your Wi-Fi. So once you do that, you can sign right in from there. So And you literally click right down here in the bottom corner. It's going to tell you what... Available Wi-Fi's are there, and you're going to click onto yours, put in your password. Of course, I don't know that. So you're going to have to do that. And once it connects to the Wi-Fi, you can go right over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, actually I'm going to remove this student here. So then I can sign in from the get-go so you see what it looks like. So when you get signed onto your Wi-Fi, you're going to see a screen like this, and it's going to say at the top, sign into your Chromebook. What you're going to do right here, and it specifically says email, and you're going to enter the student email. So let me share with you exactly what was shared in the document that technology sent out. It's the student emails, and they're all the same format across the entire district. So your first three letters of your student's name, then the first four letters of their last name, and the last two numbers of the graduating year for your student. So I'm going to give you an example. So my first name is Dina. My last name is Simpson. And I'm going to tell you my age here a little bit. I graduated in 1987. Okay. So if I were signing on, my sign on would be DEA, because that's the first three letters of my first name. SIMP, that's the first four letters of my last name. 87. And you're going to follow that by the at sign, students dot meridian 223.org so I'm going to repeat that one more time just to make sure if you're doing this and you're trying to do it as I'm talking it's the first three letters of their first name the first four letters of their last name and the last two digits of their graduating year so I'm going to go ahead and sign myself in here and show you what they're going to see next okay and then the other thing I wanted to remind you we've had a couple emails about what do I do if our last name only has three three letters then it's going to be only the three letters. We don't add any letters or anything like that to make it work. It'll just be the last three. I mean, the first three letters, which are the only three letters of your name. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in here.
And once I get my email in there, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Let's see here. I'm not used to signing in with a different email. Sorry about that. Okay, and so then after, I'm going to get rid of the keyboard here. So after I enter the email, it's going to ask me for a password. Obviously, if I'm posting this YouTube video online, I'm not going to shout out the password for our K-5 kids. So that'll, if you don't already know, you have directions that were sent out, but we're going to email that out as well. And um, that way you guys have the passwords for that. So you want to enter the password and hit enter. And then this is what your kiddos are going to see next. Because all of their teachers are sending them out um, an invite to join their Google Classroom. So when they sign in in the morning, they'll see right away. So I hope you can see this, but I'm going to put it a little bit closer. If you get a little bit closer, you're going to see as soon as they get signed in. You're going to see the classroom. So right over here in the corner, you're going to see a shaded classroom. So right now, Mrs. Maurer invited me to join her classroom. And you're going to have a little square in the corner. And you're going to see a little blue square right here. And it's going to say join. All your student has to do is click on that word join. So I'm going to do that right now. And then it's going to connect and it's going to join as you see it's thinking. And then I see Mrs. Mara up here saying hello. So she already has. Instructions in there. What to do. Google Classroom. Stuff like that. Your student. Will see a little link there. That's going to have Google Meet. And then they can click on that link and they can meet their teacher first thing in the morning. And Tuesday the 18th at 8 a.m. We're going to have our kids in the building practice the same thing that you're going to be doing at home. We're going to have a very similar experience for both in and out of the building, so that's going to be really great. But we are going to practice this over and over on the first day of school. So they're going to become masters at this, as will you. So hopefully that helps you in knowing how to sign on to a Google Chromebook. Um, if you're not certain, feel free to reference the directions or the video. Have your kids try it. Can do this Sunday night um, and, and they'll be great at it Tuesday morning. So thanks so much and we'll talk to you soon.